Rachel was not only sweet, but loving and trusting. Everyone that knew her loved and adored her. On August 26, 1982, Rachel was playing at the park behind her house in Sunset, Utah with her two brothers, not 15 feet from our backyard fence. We put a little gate in, so they wanted to go play. This was new and exciting. They had never been able to go over there before without me. And I didn't feel good about it, but their cute little begging. So I gave in. And while I was inside the house preparing lunch, a man came by and started talking to my children. He then offered to take them for ice cream. And Rachel said she liked bubble gum. And he said he had some in the car. So after he had earned her trust, he started walking towards his car and she followed. And then my other son followed. And then my other son followed. When they got closer to the car, he turned around and grabbed Rachel and shoved her inside the car. No adults were at the park to provide a description. The children at the park said it was a black or dark male about five foot eight to six feet tall, medium built, and he had a black mustache. The children said the man drove away in a four-door blue car with wood grain stripes down the side. Before they left the sandbox, it didn't look right. And I said, Rachel, come back. And so she turned around and started coming back. And then that's when he picked her up and grabbed her and ran. And that's when I knew that that something was wrong. Twenty-four days after Rachel was taken, her body was found in Morgan Canyon. They found black roses on her grave, and then in a nearby all-night laundromat, they found written on the wall, remember, beware, I killed the running girl. And there was a upside down cross with the six at each point. Rachel's killer is still out there. If you know anything, please help me bring him to justice. This is the last place she played at in her whole life. It's the last place she was, was over at that big toy. I'm very grateful that we were able to find her and do that and give her a farewell, but that would be a dream come true to have justice 